I am sitting here with this filing cabinet because we are getting rid of it today. So when I cleaned out my husband's office not too long ago, this filing cabinet was taking up a ton of space in the closet. And honestly, we really weren't using it. We had files in the top that we were using, but one drawer had just like random papers and then the other two drawers were empty. So now I just have my files here in the top and it doesn't make a lot of sense to have an entire filing cabinet just for those papers. So I am going to be converting today to a home organization binder and I'm gonna show you exactly how I'm making it. So I went to Target and looked at all of their binders and I really wanted to get like a super cute binder, but those binders were only one inch. And I knew if I wanted this to be realistic, I needed a big old binder. So I ended up picking up a Trapper Keeper. I think that's what you call them. So here's my giant Trapper Keeper. It's zipped and the reason, or it zips, I guess. The reason that I did that is I figured it would be one easier to store and like, you know, wherever we end up putting it, but it'll also be really easy to grab and go if we need to take our paper documents with us somewhere without losing things or things getting messed up. It also has some little pockets inside just to keep things that'll make it easier for us to do paperwork. I'm trying to keep this so simple. So the only other things I grabbed were some uh, dividers to help keep different areas of the binder divided. And then also some sheet protectors, just because I know there are some documents that I won't wanna punch any holes in and just keep them intact. So I do have a hole puncher and a Sharpie. Now let's get started organizing these papers. I started out by sorting my files just to see what I had and if I could get rid of anything. Then I opened up my dividers and wrote each category on a tab. What I really like about these dividers is that they're lined on the back, and I'll show you what I'm going to do with these a little bit later. I'm about to take you through each tab in my binder, but I am curious, do you have a filing system at your house or a way that you keep up with paperwork? because this is a seriously adulty skill and I had no idea how hard it would be to learn, but I feel like every year I'm getting better about keeping less and keeping what I have organized. All right, here it is, my home organization binder. All of our files, all of our paperwork is here in this one binder. Now, if you have a larger family, you know you have several kids, this might not be realistic to have just one binder, so you might wanna have different like binders you can have maybe one for everything that has to do with your home which is mostly what's in here all of our utilities like different accounts and all of that stuff just so that it's all in one place and then if needed you might need an additional thing for like you know keeping up with documents for yourself or your kids so you can have like one uh, for each person maybe and have their like medical records and you know important things identification documents and stuff like that so this is definitely not like the most perfect system for everyone I know that so you know tweak it as you will but I'm really excited that we were able to get rid of our filing cabinet and get everything down to one binder so we actually already sold the filing cabinet it is it is gone it is out of our house um, when i started this video a few days ago we still had it here and i kind of have had to film just because of life on different days so now that i'm finally sitting down to show you what's in the binder the filing cabinet is gone and we were actually able to sell it on next door that's where i've sold all of my things as i'm I've, as we've been minimizing and changing things in our house um, we sold them on next door and we were able to get fifty dollars for it so filing cabinets are expensive i looked them up and saw like full price they're like two hundred dollars so um that felt like about the right price for something that was used and a little scratched and yeah so we sold it and that means that all of the supplies that i got were probably like thirty dollars and so you know that more than paid for this anyway let's actually get right into the binder just for privacy i'm not going to show you everything in here because it does have all of our real accounts and information but i'm going to talk you through it and i will put in some little clips here as i can all right let me unzip it 
Okay, so I did choose a zippered binder because I wanted it to be something easy that we could take with us if needed. Like if we are, I don't know, going to some kind of a meeting, a financial meeting or something and we need our stuff, we can just take it all with us. So as I open up the binder here, it actually has a an accordion file in the front. Um, so I haven't put anything in there yet, but if needed, I could put some different files, maybe like working files in there. It also has zipper pockets and then some elastic here for pins, which makes it a really convenient workstation. This binder also came with a zippered pencil pouch and I have put our passports, our current passports into there just so that they're really easy to find when we are traveling. I think this binder, it's a, like a trapper keeper, was about $20. Um, so while it's not as cheap as a plastic um, binder, I feel like it's gonna hold up really, really well. It's the Five Star brand, which is what I always remember getting <laughs> in like fifth grade when I would need to get like a zippered binder. This is the brand that I always got. And this one was not in the school supply section. It was in just the office supply section. I actually went to the school supply section. I was at Target and they had the same brand but they were not as well made as this one so if you are shopping somewhere at like target or walmart don't just go to the school supplies section also go to the office supplies section and see if they have a difference in things okay so i have several different um tabs going here and i kind of try to keep them by section so the whole first five set of tabs is all home stuff and in, and rather than getting like the like a set of 20 where like all the little tabs are tiny i just got three sets of five i'm not calling them the right thing uh like dividers i guess they're called dividers um and i just wrote straight on them i wanted something that i could change out and and like you know as things go on and i wanted them to be something that i could write on so the very first one i have is utilities so we do most of our bill pay Actually, we pay everything online, but when we switch to like a new company, for example, usually they will send you something in the mail. So that very first paper that I get in the mail from a new company like our energy company or our water bill or whatever it is, I will keep the first one and immediately I will go set up an online account and automatic like payment withdrawals as soon as I can. And so once I've done that, I still hang on to that one sheet because it has our account number on it. And for whatever reason, when you need your account number, is it not so hard to find? So having it just right here where I can see it, I've got each different one. Like I have, let me see, what do I have? I've got our energy company, our gas company, water, internet, our alarm company, our pest control company. All of these I'm just considering utilities because they're things for our house that we pay for every single month and have accounts for. Um, so each one has its own like plastic page protector and all the documents I just, put into there. So then I didn't have to hole punch. Um, I can easily like take the entire sheet out if needed. Um, my husband or myself can go through and find everything really, really easily. And then the other thing I did is on the inside of the utilities, um, I'm sorry, of the actual, I'm, not, I'm still calling them the wrong thing, divider, is that what it's called? On the inside part of the divider, it's actually lined. So I was able to write each company that we had and then the username and password for um, that site. So again, that makes it really easy for everyone in the family, so myself and my husband, to go through and like log on if we need to change something with our account. Now the next thing that I have is pretty specific for us. Again, this is just house stuff. So I have a whole um, section for our HOA stuff. So our like our dues, like all of the parking and different things that we have because we're in a gated community. I have all of that information and again, logins inside of the divider. Okay, the next section that I have, it, I didn't really know what to call it. I just called it house docs, like house documents. This is all of the stuff that we got when we bought our house. Like it has, um, I don't know, like our loan information. It has like the warranty for our house because it was a new build. It has the um, like property lines, like all of that like drawn out. Um, and just like our title, like all of those kinds of things. I just wanted to put in one place because honestly, we are still like new to being adults, I feel like, even though we're almost 
in our 30s and so I don't really know exactly like what what do I need to keep what do I need to do this with so for that I just kept everything and just had it all separated nicely so that when we need to look for something we can find it easily the last tab I have for our home is something I'm calling house services um, this is like anytime somebody has need to come and work on something for a house like a one-time thing so we had um, our doorbell was not loud enough and so we had somebody come and actually there's like I can't remember what they're called, but they had to replace some things to make the doorbell louder. Um, and then like, what else did we have? Uh, we've had other people come out to just do different things. And so I've kept those invoices here just in case there's an issue or in case we actually need their services again, we can be like, who did we use for our doorbell last time? Let's have them come back and we can call them. So that's just our little house services tab. The next tab I have is insurance. Now, honestly, I don't even know if I really need to keep this one because most of our insurance policies are all online. But I did, since we did have something that was sent to us in the mail, I went ahead and made a tab for it so that if we ever need to go and look at our like life insurance or actually put health and auto separately, so this is really just life insurance, then we can go and pull that out super easily. All right, now I'm in the next set of five. This one is first focus on health before it goes into some other things. So I, I made a tab for everyone in our family for keeping up with their like health things, bills from the doctor, other stuff like that. So if you have a large family or you know kids, I feel like go to the doctor a lot more, you might need an actual like separate binder or maybe even just a folder for them, but for us, just having one tab really works. So I've helped for myself where I've kept track of like different things that are out of the ordinary, like not just doctor's visits. I also have an entire little sleeve that I've put all of my um, double, like extra insurance cards, because I do keep my insurance cards in my wallet, but they sometimes send you two, and you're like, what do I do with this? Where do I put it? So I've put it into there, all, all into one, so it's really easy to go to. And then also anything that, like procedures that you're having done, that's what I've kept here. Um, uh, many of you know that I have had varicose veins um, surgery and so I had those this year and so I've just kept all of that together into one and eventually I won't need to keep on hold on to that anymore but I am keeping them for now my husband Kent has a tab where we have like his health insurance information so even toaster has his own tab for his health so I've just kept like his vac vaccination sorry vaccination records here and actually this has come in handy lately because he just went and got groomed at a new place and so I was able to just open this up and pull this out like in the sheet protector and everything and take it into them and they got the information and then as soon as I got home I just brought it back put it back in the binder and it was super easy to find before I, I remember when he went a few months ago we had to like go to the vet to get them to print the records because we didn't know where they were so this just makes it a ton easier all right now we're done with the health section and i have a section just for our auto insurance and our auto things so i've got our insurance in here i've also got our extra insurance cards uh ours sends us like english and spanish so i just kept the spanish ones like just in case we lose the english ones also our entire policy is in here again i think that's online so i don't know if it's necessary to keep but it is kind of nice um to be able to look through it that way if something does happen um, and then i also in the auto section i have my most recent um, registration for my vehicle um actually just had to get this done and just paid for a new registration however it is in your state so i've kept the new registration um, i was just able to pull the old one out and replace it with the new one i'm sorry the inspection and then as soon as i get my new sticker for registration i will pull out the old like you know how it comes on a piece and then you like peel the sticker off? I keep that. So I will just be able to like replace them. There's no reason to keep old ones because when your car is re-registered, why do you need to know if it was registered last year? You're good, throw that away. And then I also have like the title to my vehicle in here in a sheet protector so that it's nice and everything. I asked my husband, where is the title to your vehicle? We need to put this together. So now that I have a system in place, whenever we find his documents, we will be able to just easily put them into here and have them all in one place. I did create a tab for travel. Um, it has our uh, like letter that we got from TSA when we did uh, TSA pre-check, which you know is super, super great. It lasts four or five years, but now that we're not traveling, 
Mm. So if we ever need to look up our number, it's here and easy to find. All right, now getting into the last five tabs, getting into some super exciting stuff here, I have uh, taxes. So I have a, a sheet protector for each of the tax years that we have been married. That's how long I've been keeping records this way. Um, so those are just in little uh, page protectors. I can just easily pull one out. So starting you know, for this year, as we get tax documents towards the end of the year, I will put in a new page protector and it will just start do dropping in you know, 2020 tax stuff. And when it comes time to do taxes, we can just pop that out and it'll be really, really easy to find. I did have a tab for our investments um, because for some reason, if you have investments, you know that they send you a million bajillion letters every single month and like these huge fat booklets of like things and when I talked to my husband about them he I was like do we need these they're not even signed they're just like blanket statements we've got three of the exact same thing he was like no we don't need those so this is actually an empty tab because again everything is online if it's online you really don't need to keep it unless you're just a paper person so this is actually an empty tab <laughs> Same thing for bank documents. When I first was deciding which folders to make, when I was looking through the stuff that we already had, um, there were some bank documents I thought that I was gonna need to keep, but then I realized again, I don't actually need them, so we shredded them and got rid of them. Everything is online, so if, again, if you don't need to keep it, don't. The very last thing that I have on here is our identification documents. Now, you may want to keep this binder somewhere like extra safe that's locked or maybe fire safe um, and I honestly that's probably like a really good idea because we do have very sensitive information in here um, but I have our ident identification documents so I have um, our old passports and in licenses you know just stuff that's fun to keep I have my old social security number from before we were married I also have our, a certified copy of our marriage license because we used to use that a lot when we were traveling um, right when we got married. So just things like that are in here. All right, well, that is it for my home organization binder. So tell me what you think. What would you include in your home organization binder? Is this something that is feasible for you and your family? If so, what kinds of things would you include or not include? I would love your organization tips. And I also hope you got a little bit of inspiration from this to go through your files and get rid of stuff. You just don't really need to keep that much paper anymore now that we're in such a digital world. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.